हेलो एवरीवन कंटिन्यूइंग विद द लेक्चर सीरीज टुडे वी विल बी डीलिंग विद द टॉपिक ग्लाइकोजेनेसिस ग्लाइकोजन मेटाबॉलिज्म ओवरऑल इज डिवाइडेड इनटू ग्लाइकोजेनेसिस ग्लाइकोजेनोलाइसिस एंड रेगुलेशन ऑफ बोथ द साइकल्स सो वी विल सी व्हाट इज ग्लाइकोजेनेसिस नाउ व्हाट इज ग्लाइकोजेनेसिस इज सिंपली द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ग्लाइकोजन व्हाट इज ग्लाइकोजन ग्लाइकोजन इज द स्टोरेज फॉर्म ऑफ ग्लूकोज वेन एवर बॉडी हैज एन एक्स्ट्रा अमाउंट ऑफ ग्लूकोज then it store itself in the form of glycogen so why body does not store it in the form of glucose this is because of the high osmo osmotic pressure property of glucose and if body will store it in the form of glucose this will lead to endosmosis and swelling also glycogen is a branched structure therefore it can give energy rapidly when so ever needed hence body does this process of glycogenesis now the site of glycogenesis is liver and muscle muscle has the highest amount of glycogen content overall whereas liver has the highest amount of glycogen content per gram percent of tissue weight now if we see the structure of glycogen it is nothing but a branched biopolymer which is having alpha 14 as well as alpha 16 linkages the linear uh, linear glucose units are joined together by alpha 14 and the branching is by alpha 16 now for glycogenesis to take place the basic requirements are two first of all glycogenin primer what is glycogenin primer glycogenin primer is a polypeptide which has a lot of tyrosine residue and on these tyrosine residue we are adding glucose hence we are glycosylating those tyrosine residues also the second requirement is udp glucose now to add glucose on glycogenin primer we need a donor and that donor is nucleotide donor that is udp glucose so now we will see the proper glycogenesis now in the steps first of all the glucose which is present in extra amount is converted to glucose 6 phosphate because glucose 6 phosphate is further needed to be converted to glucose 1 phosphate because on the udp we can only add glucose 1 phosphate so glucose converts to glucose 6 phosphate simple phosphorylation reaction hence the enzyme is hexokinase the conversion of glucose 6 phosphate to glucose 1 phosphate is an isomerization reaction therefore the name phosphoglucomutase and the glucose 1 phosphate to udp glucose for formation this is by the help of udp glucose pyrophosphorylase so we can see it is evident from the reaction that what is the amount of phosphate that has been added and what is the removal in the form of pyrophosphate now we have udp glucose with us it will serve as a donor in the upcoming process now what happens that glycogenin primer which we know has tyrosine residues in it is attacked by udp glucose and this attaches to glycogenin primer what is the requirement that is glucose so now with the help of the enzyme glycogen synthase the reaction will continue further and there will be linear polymerization and we know that it will be via alpha 14 linkage and in this way a linear glycogen a linear linear glucose units will be added on a glycogen in primer then further there will be formation of branches on this on this uh, polysaccharide the formation will be of glycogen branches by the help of branching enzyme and this will be alpha 16 linkage and the enzyme will be alpha 14 16 glucan transferase and in all this process we get the final form that is beta particle thank you